Hi everyone, it's Eric from ecommon12.blogspot.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to get the Android 4.4 launcher on your Android device. Now this can be on any Android device so long as it is running Android version 4.1 or later. And in this video I'll be testing it on the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini which was very kindly sent to me by Vodafone. Now first I'm going to show you how to install it. Now what you'll first have to do is click the link in the video description which will take you to the XDA developers website. And you will see the actual section of the website which tells you how to actually install the 4.4 launcher. Now you're going to have to click on one of the links which will take you to the download page. And keep in mind this will not work with a Safari web browser. If you do try with a Safari browser it will just bring up this error message. Apparently Safari is not advanced enough for this despite the fact that Apple just gave it an update recently. So you're going to have to use Google Chrome or Firefox web browser or something like that. And once you've got them downloaded, what you're going to have to do is copy it over to your Android device. Wherever you want to copy it, that's entirely your decision, but I'm going to put it in the download folder. Now on Windows, it is incredibly simple. You basically just have to connect your Android device, and then it'll be brought up as a sort of like hard drive or a USB thumb drive would normally be brought up on Windows. After that, you're going to have to copy the files to your Android device that is connected, and then you are done. The files are copied to the phone. With Mac, it's a little bit more complicated, but still quite easy. What you have to do is download a Mac OS X application called Android File Transfer. Once you've got Android File Transfer installed, then all you have to do is just navigate to the download folder on your Android device or whichever folder that you want to put it in, then drag and drop the files across. That's it. It's as simple as that to get the files onto your Android device. What you're going to have to do then is load it up. Let's just put this on. And what you have to do is actually go into the OI file manager or any other kind of file managing uh, application you want to use. The way you have to do is go into download and here are the files. Now the first one you're going to want to install is this one, pre-built GMS core. Now you have to tap on that and press install. Now for some reason on me it did not install, but I still recommend that you actually press this to install it. So give it a go. If it doesn't work on your Android device then don't worry, but if it does work then that, that's also great. Now what you have to do is press velvet and you're going to have to actually install this. And then the last and final one is the Google Home Launcher file. Once that's installed, you press the Home button, and then there it is, right in your app tray. So let's tap on that, and here we go. We've actually got the Android 4.4 KitKat Launcher. Now if I swipe between screens, you can see, if I swipe all the way down to this side, what it'll actually do is take you to Google Now, which I personally don't care about that, I just prefer doing it the regular way, but there you go, they brought it that way as well. And you can see if I just tap on the folder, you can see that it's actually got the KitKat kind of white sort of like background of the folder, so quite impressive how they've done this with a launcher. Now if I press this button right here to take you into the app drawer, you could see everything arranged like this, and then you could swipe between the screens right over here. And something I don't really like at all really is what all the design changes they've done with 4.4 KitKat. This would have been good if it was after the gingerbread update, but I think Ice Cream Sandwich's design on the Android user interface is far more superior and better in pretty much every way than the KitKat version. So, as you saw, there's no widgets tab, unfortunately, so if you can't do the widgets, then you have to find them this other way, which is tap and hold. And you can see widgets are right here. And then, there you go, here are your widgets. It was much more easier to access them from the app drawer, whereas now you have to go a completely separate route. I really don't like that change, but there you go. And then you can also do settings and wallpapers right here as well. So as you can see, it's all the KitKat goodness right here. Now you can also do this on the Nexus 7. And as you can as you, oops, well, easy. As you can see, this is the regular sort of uh, like, um, uh, what was it, a jelly bean update. And now if I go into my app drawer, and there's the launcher, and as you can see, here it is. It brings it up very quickly, and you can swipe between the screens. You've got this, this is what it looks like, this kind of app sort of thing that, that they've done. It looks like on the Nexus 7 like this, so this is how it look on tablets. And again, widgets is unfortunately moved, so you're going to have to tap and hold, tap into widgets, and here they are. Very quick to get to the widgets, but I think it was much quicker and much more efficient and nicer to look at when they were in the app drawer. And yes, if I do swipe all the way, you do get Google Now right here as well. I really do like uh, the way that that actually functions, although, as I said, the looks is one thing I'm not too keen on, but, you know, apart from that, you've got the KitKat version here. Now, let me just go into one of the folders. You can see in the folders here, I've also got the white sort of background, so, therefore, you know, pretty much everything is here. Now, also one thing, if I t this happens on the S4 Mini as well, but if I just tap over here, you can see that the little, the box that, that sort of expands 
comes from whichever area I tap, which I'll do. As you can see, the box, I touched there and the box started expand on the screen that way. So, there you go. Then this, this is the video where I showed you how to get Android 4.4 KitKat, the launcher, on Android. Now, as I said, you have to be running version 4.1 or above. Both these devices are on the pretty much latest version of Android before Android 4.4 uh, KitKat. And, yeah, it works very, very well. So, thank you guys very much for watching. Please stay tuned for my future coverage videos and a full review of this, the Galaxy S4 Mini. Thanks again very much for watching, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Take care.